dismiss any of these, this is your friendly reminder that gravity is still in fact a theory. I was hoping to do a space facts video tonight. Just doing my usual research, just gliding away. And uh, honestly, I can't, I can't find any space facts that interest me. If you have a favorite app or method of finding interesting facts that you've never heard of before, all I'm getting is the sun is 3.2 different from this, and that this moon is the closest to the Earth's atmosphere, yada yada. <laughs> so, while getting disappointed with all of that research, I was inspired to make this video, so it starts off really quite simple, but the deeper and deeper we get into these theories, the more interesting they get. The first one you have probably heard of already, it is in fact the Big Bang Theory, the theory that the universe originated from an extremely hot and dense state, expanding and cooling over time. Just pretty, pretty standard. The second theory is the multiverse theory. Um, experimented and played with a lot in TV shows and movies. It's the idea that there may be multiple universes or universi, each with its own set of physical laws and properties. Don't think about it too much. String theory is a, a theoretical framework that suggests that fundamental particles are not point-like, but tiny vibrating strings, providing a potential unified theory for all forces and particles in the universe. Hence, one of the reasons why gravity is just a theory. Here is inflation theory. And no, it's not what you've been hearing on the fake news. <laughs> inflation theory is the underwent a rapid expansion the moments following the Big Bang, explaining the observed uniformity of the cosmic microwave background radiation. Number five, dark matter theory. I don't know why, but this one keeps me up at night. Quantum mechanics. 
reviewed online with their reasoning behind these principles and theories. Cosmic inflation theory. This is just the same theory as before, but wrapped with a little different name. I think it is the idea that the universe underwent a rapid expansion in the early moments, expanding the observable large-scale structure and homogeneity. Evenly spaced out. Hey, don't blame me. Don't look at me. I made the list, but hey, there's a hundred of them here. <laughs> I really hope that's the one time that that happens, but even so, we got a little bit more information. To be, to be completely honest, these are two different theories because they approach it at two different angles. One was talking about how everything is spaced out evenly, while the other one is talking about specifically how they believe the uh, theory is that there was a very, very quick expansion immediately, and what's happening now is the slower expansion. So, yeah, they, they are actually two different theories. Never mind. <laughs> Debunked. Number 10. Quantum gravity theory. The field of study aimed at unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, describing gravity as the at the smallest of scales. It's weird to imagine something as big as gravity on a tiny little scale. Little atoms pulling towards and pushing towards. And, yeah. 11. Holographic principle. The theory that suggests the information describing volume of space can be encoded on its boundary, implying a deeper connection between gravity and the quantum mechanics. I feel like I've heard or read about holographic theory principle in a different light, but it is what it is. Dark energy theory proposition that a mysterious form of energy uh, permeates the universe, driving its accelerated expansion. Brain cosmology. That's B-R-A-N-E. Not the brain, but brain. The idea that our universe is a three-dimensional brain floating higher dimensional bulk with the potential for extra dimensions and parallel universes. That builds upon previous theory. Excuse me. Quantum entanglement theory. This one I really, really enjoy too. Uh, it is weird to see this written as a theory. Uh, I'll stop myself there because it is a theory because although observed um, it cannot be necessarily, um, I believe the word you would use is uh, quantified. So let's read in. We'll think about it a little bit more. Quantum entanglement theory is the phenomenon, phenomenon in quantum mechanics where particles become linked and their states are instantaneously corrected regardless of the distance between them. So I guess since we just see something happening, and we can't prove or explain why it's happening. We just have to call it a theory. And it's the most mind-boggling theory I know of. Um, it's pretty high up on the list right now, but truly, if you think about it, all the other ones, like, yeah, the, Earth's ex or the universe is expanding very quickly. Uh, it's, you know, this, this is how gravity maybe works, yada, yada. But here, we're, we're seeing different particles spinning, let's say, in opposite um, rotations, and they're nowhere close to each other, but we can see them linked, because when you do one thing to this one, the same or opposite reaction happens to the other one. I butchered that, but truly think about, oh gosh, I, I've ruined the screen, there you go. <laughs> I really growth of this idea in the next 50, 100, 10,000 years, where these kind of principles could be used in extraordinary ways. 
there's another one I'm gonna mispronounce. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spell it E K P Y R O T I C ek pro dick theory, a cyclic cosmological model where the universe experienced periodic cycles of expansion and contraction, emerging from the collision of two higher dimensional brains. Once again, not this, but brain. Uh, Whitehall theory, the hypothetical time-reversed version of a black hole, where matter and energy are continuously expelled instead of being pulled in. How cool would it be if for every single black hole there was a white hole? It just one's like, and then a million, billion, quadrillion light years away, there's a white hole just puking it all up. I, I don't actually know if I've ever heard of an observable white hole. It's a theory, so I guess, I guess mathematically it could exist, but we haven't seen it, observed it. Uh, super string theory. It's not just a string. It's a super string. <laughs> An extension of string theory that proposes the existence of super particles, such as super symmetric partners, to known particles offering a possible resolution to certain consistencies in the standard model of particle physics. Think about that one. Oscillating universe theory. The idea that the universe undergoes cycles of expansion and contraction indefinitely with each cycle proceeding by a big bang and followed by a big crunch. Technology 
So at the rate the technology is getting better, either it's going to get good enough that we are going to simulate life or we're going to destroy ourselves and there's only two options. But once again, I, a few times, uh, it had a start and it just, it just keeps going. It's not this, like, bouncing back and coming and, oh, it's going to go here and then we're simulated and, and then the other level of simulation goes there. I'm given too much opinion. Let's enjoy some more theories. They are going to get wackier and wackier as we go, though. Here is quantum cosmology, the application of quantum mechanics to the study of the origin and evolution of the universe, aiming to provide a quantum description of the Big Bang. So a definition of how the Big Bang happened or during the Big Bang. Both, I guess, would be interesting. Black hole thermodynamics, the analogy between the behavior of black holes and the laws of thermodynamics, suggesting that black holes have entropy and temperature. Doesn't everything have entropy? Cosmic censorship hypothesis, the idea that the formation of naked singularities, ooh la la, which are not hidden by event horizons, is prohibited in the universe, preserving um, causality and predictability. I gotta read that one again, sorry, cosmic censorship hypothesis, the idea that the formation of naked singularities, which are not hidden by event horizons, is prohibited in the universe, okay. So it preserves causation and predictability, Ca causality. Many worlds interpretation, a quantum mechanics interpretation, proposing that every possible outcome of physical event occurs, leading to the existence of multiple parallel universes. It's a weird name for what the theory actually is. Um, what's another one I'm going to pronounce incorrectly? W E Y L Whale Whale Curvature Hypothesis The Conjecture That the Whale Curvature Tensor A Measure of the Gravitational Tidal Forces Vanishes in the Early Universe Providing a Potential Explanation for the Observed Large Scale Homogeneous Formal cyclic cosmology, a cosmological model proposed by physicist Roger Penrose, suggesting that the universe undergoes an infinite sequence of cycles, with each cycle beginning from the end of the previous one. Bam, bam, bam. Gravity as an emergent phenomenon. My science vocabulary is very much so being tested. The idea that gravity is not a fundamental force, but emerges from the collective behavior of underlying quantum fields or information processing systems. I like that. Entropic gravity a hypothesis suggesting that gravity can be described as an emerging phenomenon. 
similar to uh, what we think about um, elements, just trying to share electrons and be as stable as possible. Let's say quantum cosmological era of time. The what? The what now? The proposal that the arrow of time, the directionality of time's flow, arises from the quantum nature of the universe. When I make really weird faces like that, it's because I'm stifling a snippies. Fermionic condensate theory. The concept that under certain extreme conditions, such as in the core of neuron stars, fermions, particles with half integer spins, can undergo a phase transition and form a condensed state. Anthropic cosmology, a cosmological model that suggests the expansion of the universe is driven by the grow of entropy, providing an alternative explanation to the traditional notions of dark energy or inflation. By the growth of entropy, so by everything trying to be more random, that's pulling space time apart. Gravitational. I'm surprised we haven't seen more like black hole type theories here. I've been really eager to hear about the <laughs> gravitational collapse theory. The idea that massive objects such as stars can undergo gravitational collapse when their internal pressure can no longer counteract the force of gravity, leading to the formation of black holes or other compact objects. Cosmological. Bayron is symmetry, the mysterious surround the mystery surrounding the imbalance between matter and antimatter in the universe, with matter predominating the search for an explanation of this asymmetry. Quantum foam wormholes meant these scientists just love their foam. Just wait until they find out slime exists. The hypothesis that wormholes, hypothetical tunnels in space-time, could be formed due to the fluctuations of the quantum foam at the Planck scale. Oh, how I would love to see this foam. Nom, 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 nom. Primordial gravitational waves, the notion that during the early stages of the universe, gravitational waves were generated, leaving an imprint that can potentially be detected by the cosmic microwave background radiation. Very nice. Variable speed of light theory. The proposal that the speed of light might not be constant through cosmic history, with potential implications for the fundamental laws of physics and the evolution of the universe. Cosmological phase, phase transitions. The idea that the universe can undergo phase transitions similar to the changes of state and matter, leading to different physical properties and structures at different stages of cosmic evolution. Oh, this one caught my eye earlier. Time crystal theory. The hypothesis that time crystals, a new state of matter, exhibiting periodic Periodicity. Exhibiting periodicity. Not only in space, but also in time, could exist in the universe, potentially influencing various physical phenomena and dynamics. So I was reading a space fact earlier about this, and it's, it was something yada yada, where these uh, time crystals exist in pockets of space, and they slow down or speed up the um, the, uh, the, the 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 time. <laughs> you know, like a particle can just be going along its 
which can play a crucial role in the dynamics of the universe. Dark fluid theory, the proposal that dark matter and dark energy can be unified into a single entity, described as a dark fluid with specific properties and behavior. Casual diamond theory, don't worry honey, it's a casual diamond, it doesn't mean too much. <laughs> concept that the observable region of the universe known as the casual diamond is determined by the intersection of the past and future light cones of an observer. Gravitational lensing theory, the understanding that the gravitational field of massive objects can bend and distort light, leading to the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, where the path of light is curved. I thought this was, I thought that was a fact. I thought it's literally like when they're, when they're looking at very, very far away stars and galaxies, they have to account for these uh, gravitational distortions of the light that they're trying to view. But we'll see. Quantum entanglement and black holes, the exploration of the connection between quantum entanglement and the properties of black holes, particularly through the study of the holographic principle and the information paradox. I, mean, I really got to read up on the holographic principle because I, I don't remember it having anything to do with black holes or uh, quantum entanglement. Super symmetry theory, a theoretical framework proposing that Every known fundamental particle has a supersymmetrical partner, offering a potential solution to certain problems in particle physics and contributing to the search for dark matter. Modified gravity theories, alternative theories of gravity that seek to explain the observed cosmic acceleration without invo invoking dark energy by modifying or extending Einstein's general relativity. Once again, information holograph. The idea that the information content of a region of space can be encoded on its boundary akin to a hologram, providing insights into the nature of space-time and quantum gravity. Quantum foam and space-time quantization hypothesis that at the most fundamental scale, space-time itself is a discrete and quanti quantized, oh, space-time itself is discrete and quantized, leading to the emergence of space-time foam and the potential resolution of singularities. I, I swear on the freckle that lives on my back, I've never heard of foam and science. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, maybe this is something new in the last five or so years because I, I've never heard of it. I ain't never had this kind of conversation with my nerdy friends, so. White hole cosmology. The idea that white holes, hypothetical regions from which matter and energy can only escape, could have played a role in the early universe and could be connected to black holes. Hopefully. Um, e K B Y R O T I C ekpyrotic ekpyrotic universe theory, a cosmological model proposing that the Big Bang was the result of a collision between two three-dimensional brains, providing an alternative to the inflationary model. We heard that earlier. Vacuum fluctuating theory. The concept that empty space is not truly empty, but it's subject to quantum fluctuations, resulting in the creation and annihilation of particle, particle and antiparticle pairs. Stellar nucleosynthesis. The process by which star synthesis Stars synthesize, excuse me, 
heavier elements from lighter ones through nuclear fusion, leading to the formation of elements such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. Don't forget about plutonium. I mean, what? Uh, mirror matter theory. The hypothesis that there exists a parallel form of matter that interacts with normal matter only and through gravity, potentially explaining the presence of dark matter in the universe. Cosmic neutrino background, the relic neutrinos left over from the early universe. Analogous of the cosmic microwave background radiation, but consisting of the neutrinos instead of protons, or photons, excuse me. Quantum gravity and black hole evaporation, the explor exploration of the quantum behavior of black holes, including Hawking radiation and the potential resolution of the black hole information paradox. Cosmic censorship and black hole singularities, the conjecture that singularities within black holes are always hidden from external observers by event horizons, maintaining the predictability of general relativity. Topological defects and early universe phase transitions. The idea that during phase transitions in our early universe, uh, top, topological <laughs> defects such as cosmic strings or domain walls could be formed influencing the large-scale structure of the universe. Superfluid dark matter theory. The proposal that dark matter could have properties similar to superfluids, exhibiting zero viscosity and other macroscopic quantum effects, potentially explaining observed phenomena at galactic scales. What phenomena are you talking about? I want to know. Precision of Mercury's orbit. The explanation for the anomalous precision of Mercury's orbit that led to the confirmation of general relativity's predictions regarding the curvature of space-time near massive objects. Fuzzball theory. The proposal that black holes are not singularities, but rather conglomerates of stringy, fuzzy, challenging, of uh, stringy fuzz, challenging the classic picture of black holes. But, <laughs> but you gotta tell me more. I know it's challenging, <laughs> black hole, but you can't just say, hey, we know we can see it. We know we're taking pictures of it. But what if it's not a black hole? What if it's a big old fuzzball? Pansy cosmology, a cosmological model suggesting that the universe undergoes cycles of contraction and expansion with a bounce occurring at the transition between these phases. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Here's uh, my favorite, Chameleon, also known as Chameleon Theory. The idea that a hypothetical scalar field known as the Chameleon accelerated expansion of the universe and the nature of dark energy. This one should have been much earlier in the list, as it's just a more well-known one. Grand, grand Unified Theory, G-U-D, gut, gut, gut. The pursuit of a unified theory that combines the electromagnetic weak and strong nuclear forces into a singular framework aiming to describe the fundamental forces of nature at high energies. Graviton theory. The concept of the graviton, a hypothetical elementary particle that mediates the force of gravity in a matter, in a manner similar to the exchange of photons in electromagnetism. That sounds pretty silly to me. It's like, a, it's like calling something a time particle and, a, 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 you know, just like you keep going, you keep going, you keep going with all those. Everything looks bright. Super, super critical fluid dark matter. The proposition that dark matter could be in the form of a super critical fluid, exhibiting properties of both fluids and solids, and potentially accounting for observed discrepancies. A chaotic 
observe phenomena of vacuum fluctuations and the Casimir effect. Fractal universe theory, the hypothesis that the large-scale structures of the universe exhibits fractal patterns with self-similar structures and repeating across different scales, offering an alternative to the notion of the homogeneous universe. I just pictured in the movie Interstellar when he's falling through the fractals. String gas cosmology, the cosmological model that suggests the early universe was dominated by gas of fundamental strings, providing an alternative to the traditional Big Bang scenario. Conformal cyclic cosmology a cyclic cosmological model proposed by Roger Penrose suggesting that the universe goes through an infinite sequence of aeons, with each aeon beginning from the end of the previous one. Externally inflating multiverse. The idea that our universe is just one bubble within a massed multiverse where inflationary expansion is ongoing and universes are continuously being created. Cosmic microwave background polarization. The measurement and analysis of the polarization patterns in the cosmic microwave background radiation, which provide insights into the early universe and the nature of cosmic inflation. Quantum gravity and the black hole information paradox. The investigation into the quantum of black holes and the resolution of the paradox surrounding the loss of information in black hole evaporation. Anthropic principle, the principle that explains certain observed characteristics of the universe by considering the requirements for the existence of conscious observers, suggesting a link between the fundamental constants and the emergence of life multi-dimensional brain collisions. The hypothesis that collisions between higher dimensional brains can generate the condition necessary for the formation of universes or trigger inflationary events. Gravitational wave cosmology. The use of gravitational wave observ observations such as those from merging black holes or neuron stars to study properties of the universe, test general relativity, and explore exotic physics, dark energy matter interaction, the exploration of potential interaction between dark energy and dark matter, which could provide insights into the nature of these elusive components of the universe. Cosmological Holography, the idea that the information describing a three-dimensional universe can be encoded in a two-dimensional boundary, suggesting a deeper connection between gravity, quantum mechanics, and the nature of space-time. I like how that was written. Brain cosmology, the concept that our universe is a three-dimensional brain embedded within a higher-dimensional space with gravity confined to the brain while other forces act in the higher dimensional bulk. Deep. Loop quantum gravity. The theoretical framework attempting to, quantica, attempting to quantize the gravitational field, treating space-time as a network of interconnected loops, providing a potential for reconciling general relativity and quantum mechanics. Multiverse and the landscape of string theory. The idea that our universe is just one of many universes in a vast multiverse, with each universe having different physical laws and constants shaped by the landscape of string theory. Dark energy as a cosmological constant. The proposition that the accelerated expansion of the universe is due to the cosmological constant term in Einstein's equations representing a form of energy permeating empty space. Holographic dark energy, the hypothesis
is that the dynamics of dark energy can be described by an effective theory on the boundary of higher dimensional space-time, relating to the holographic principle and information content of the universe. Quantum entanglement as the fabric of space-time. The idea that space-time itself emerges from the quantum entanglement of fundamental cons constituents. Constituents are hardly known. Okay, suggesting that the <laughs> geometry of the universe is a manifestation of entanglement patterns. Simulated universe hypothesis. The proposal that our entire universe, including all of its physical laws and properties, could be a computer simulation created by a more advanced civilization or an artificial intelligence. Cyclic universe theory. Cosmological model. That posits an external cycle of expansion and contraction where each cycle starts with a big bang and ends with a big crunch, leading to a new cycle. Quantum gravity and the holographic, holographic principle. The exploration of the relationship between quantum gravity and the holographic principle, which suggests that the information content of a region of space can be encoded on its boundary. Fractal cosmology. The idea that the large-scale structure of the universe exhibits self-similarity on different scales similar to fractal patterns, implying a deep underlying geometric organization. I deeply underestimated the amount of time it takes to read a hundred of these theories, but I am so incredibly sleepy right now, I may just fall asleep on this very, very soft carpet, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed these theories.